guys, hello and welcome back to Tuesday Tuesdays. I'm so glad you're here. Ah, my goodness, it's good to be back, it's good to be back. You know, we started last week and did you love the topic? Have you, oh, it was beautiful, it was beautiful. Have you thought of your self-worth in such detail before our last week's show? I know I hadn't but it was just beautiful you know um the whole week i started thinking about all the things that i'm actually worth and it was beautiful i i loved it i i, I i'm so glad to be back for tuesday tuesdays and i'm so glad that you are here i hope you 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 enjoyed the episode last week because i suddenly enjoyed the episode last week so guys, I am so glad you're here. Like I said, welcome back. This is episode 50. Oh my goodness. We are at episode 50 of Tuesday Tuesdays. Oh my goodness. Okay, just before we go into today's episode, there's something really exciting that I have to tell you about. If you haven't seen, Changes on the Way is back at number one on the on the charts. So the Christian, uh, the Canadian Christian content, the Christian radio changes on the way it's number one so we did it again thank you guys so much thank you for all of your support guys thank you for listening to changes on the way and to list for listening to my songs thank you radio thank you so much for continually playing changes on the way i am so i'm so humbled and honored and i am so happy thank you guys so much for all of your support it means it means the world to me um but anyways that that's an excitement i'm very excited i've been like jumping and dancing around uh since yesterday i got the news yesterday so i've been like moving all around uh yeah it's unbelievable but it's it's actually amazing and i'm so grateful and thankful to god for it and thank you guys too so for today's topic as i was saying last week we started change we started to, i was gonna say we started changes on the way last week <gasps> Changes on the way, changes on the way. It's been going on for some time now, and I can see the changes happening. I hope you can see changes in 2023. New year, new me. I am worth it. That was our opening topic last week. So this week, guys, I want to talk to you guys about something very personal. And it is very, very true. And for that reason, I have actually titles this week topic Tuesday Tuesdays episode 50 as the devil is a liar the devil is a liar if you're sitting right now watching this I want you to just speak that speak that with faith and say the devil is a liar oh my goodness I feel so good it's so true though the devil is a liar. I don't know if I'm speaking to, uh, I'm pretty sure most of you know what I mean when I say the devil is a liar. I know uh, you guys know I'm a Christian, obviously. So when I'm speaking that, it's biblical and everything. But if even if you're not a Christian, or even if you, I'm pretty sure you've heard the devil. You've, you know something about the devil. The devil is a liar. And I'm gonna go into our topic today because I am very, very, this topic, as I said, is very personal and it's very, very important that uh, that we uh, be attentive today. Be attentive today because I, I feel this is something that, there is someone in a room that has to hear this. And I will apologize if I become a little too uh, biblical I, I try not to make my show too biblical. Of course, it's whatever God wants me to talk about. That's what I talk about. So today, I feel in my spirit that I need to tell you guys that the devil is a liar. And this is why. So, you know, I have been trying to open this phone for the last, I don't know how many times. <laughs> Let me open this phone. I have all my notes in here and it's locked on me. So it's not my phone, it's my daughter's phone. So I get, but anyways, 
The devil is a liar. Yeah, the devil is a liar. So, do you believe that the devil is real? Do you know that? And do you also know that he is a shape shifter? I don't know about you guys, but I know growing up in high school, um, I was going to say high school. That's, that's not that long ago. <laughs> that was long enough ago. But that's not what I meant. In Sunday school, I remember drawing the devil as this terrible person. You know, even now into this world, when you think about the devil, you think of this uh this uh ridiculous looking thing not a sight that you want to see like got bumps here bumps there and just ridiculous looking person but i tell you uh the the did it's true i'm not i'm not i'm not saying it's not true that the devil is a ridiculous person it's a ridiculous thing the devil is terrible yeah i'm saying that However, though, I want you to know, as I'm learning every day in my work with God, that the devil is not just terrible, ridiculous, or bad God, bad act, you know, like very bad characteristics. He's bad. He's the devil. Makes sense. But something I need you to know that I am learning every day is that he is a shape shifter. You know, I was just saying that in Sunday school, you draw the devil, you talk about the devil, and he's this black and bad and not black. But you know, this, this, uh, those are the character of him. Doesn't mean when he comes in your case, he's going to be looking as terrible. I tell you, he is a ship shifter. He switches to things that you love. He switches to people that you love. He is a ship shifter. And that's why it's so important to understand your worth because when he comes around to tell you, when he comes around to tell you his lies, you can face him boldly and tell him you are a liar. The devil is a liar. I actually want to talk about this topic today because, you know, after I launched uh, Tuesday, Tuesday, not launch, but when we returned Tuesday, Tuesday, last week, the topic was, I am worth it, correct? Yeah, I am worth it. I loved talking about that. I, I, I felt so alive. It was amazing. I was so grateful to God to understand out of not everything but at least some of my worth it was beautiful and sharing it with you meant so much encouraging you to understand your self-worth because you are worth so much more we are worth so much more than we put ourselves as a lot of time but i tell you that day after i got true after i got true talking to you about that topic Something happened in my life that made me feel so worthless. <laughs> it's so ironic. You just spoke about all the being so worth everything. And then right after, not even long after, I felt so worthless. And I'm telling you, I'm sitting on my couch and I'm crying because, yeah, I'm not going to go into too much detail, but, but I, the main reason I'm telling you this is because I want you to understand that the devil is a liar. You know, every time you try to believe your worth, you try to understand those things, he will find a trick to tell you you are worthless. And I'm telling you, he did that. Like, he brought it in a way that, and I'm not telling you no lie, he is a shift, shape, shape, shifter, shape, shifter. I can't seem to pronounce that word, but you kind of understand what I mean. He takes the shape of other people, things you love, people you love, and 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 speaks through them. And I'm not joking. I tell you, I was so hurt, and I the and, and and felt so like, oh my goodness. And then it hit me. I was like, wow, wow, the devil is a liar. He is a liar. He is such a liar. You know, after I've 
spoken to you and understood my worth you know excited about what i am worth like understanding my worth he shifted right in my face like you know what you're not worth that you're not worth this you're not worth that no you're not worth that and you know i'm sitting down i'm telling myself wow the devil is a liar and i wanted to tell you today that the devil the devil is a liar and you know sometimes even understanding our self-worth is not enough to tell him to get lost. It's not enough. And that's why we actually really need Christ in our lives. And I, I can tell you, I'm so grateful that I know Jesus because there's so many things in my life that I know that I wouldn't be able to overcome without him. And I want to encourage you, if you do not know Jesus, this is... Honest to God, this is not a show that I decided I'm going to bring people to Christ. No, this just happened. And I feel like there is somebody who needs to hear this. So if you don't know Jesus, get to know him. It's very simple. You just have to confess that you're a sinner and that you need Jesus. And ask him into your life. Because I tell you, when I got attacked by that you know after saying we are worth it get to know your worth i am worth happiness i'm worth this i'm worth this everything just came crumbling right in my face and i was like oh my goodness i'm so worthless i don't like i deserve that i did that i, I should be getting that but no that's what the devil wants us to believe he wants us to believe that we are worthless. And when you feel worthless, I tell you, you you cling to him because he tells you all those lies. And then you have no way to fight against him. And, I, and that's how I was saying, you know, sometimes it takes more than you knowing your worth to fight him. It takes the Holy Spirit. It takes God to battle him. You know, there's a lot of battle we fight on this earth that is not physical. Did you know that? There's a lot of them because right now I am fighting a battle that I know 100%. It is not physical. And I am telling you, the devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. This is a very serious topic. So, you know what? Let's tell a joke. Guys, right now it's Tuesday's joke time. I think this is a really good one. So, here we go. So, Tommy is visiting his friend Larry, who is really sick at the hospital on his death, on his dying bed. Anyways, so Tommy's talking to Larry and he says to Larry, Larry, I wonder if there's baseball up there. And he says, Larry, you know, when you get up there, when you get to heaven, let me know if there's this baseball up there. So Larry said, OK. And then he nods, Larry nods his head and and died. So at night, Tommy is home. He hears this voice, Tom. He knew right away it was Larry. So he said, yes, Larry, what do you need? What's going on? And Larry says, Tom, I have a bad, a good and a bad news from heaven for you. And he says, what is it? And Larry says, yes, you're right. There is baseball in heaven. And then Tommy said, what is the bad news? Well, you're pitching on Tuesday night. <laughs> Do you get it? I think it's a terrible joke. <laughs> terrible but funny. <laughs> I guess it's a lesson not to tell people to go out to heaven and tell you what to see. What, what, to, to go and tell you things that's up there. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that was bad. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh my goodness. So funny. But, anyways, I hope you laughed because, yes, it's true. It's getting a little too serious in here. But it is so true, though. It is really true. I don't mean to get serious, but I tell you, last week, Tuesday, where I was, it was, it was a serious place. And I really, uh, I really hope that today's topic helps you, that you are inspired today, and that you will know the truth. And the truth is, you are worth it.
And the truth is, the devil is a liar. So don't let him lie to you. Well, guys, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for being here for another episode of Tuesday Tuesdays. Don't forget, There Must Be Your God comes out on Monday. That's in six days. Six days, I believe. Monday, There Must Be Your God comes out. It's going to be on all streaming platforms. So I'm so excited for you to hear it. It's going to be amazing. It's so amazing. Anyways, guys, thanks again. Thanks so much for all of your support. I love you guys. And I will see you next week. Mwah. Bye-bye.